we got a we got a video um now let me start a little better y'all are familiar with the words industry plant y'all are familiar uh, uh 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 with industry plants and music you know what i'm saying usually music but now it's coming on to the all things bro but listen listen we got a video uh, i watched the first one before but now we got this video too bro we got the second part we got what are the industry plants today where are the industry plants today i said that shit wrong but y'all know what i mean bro so basically we got a list of random industry plants industry plants because some of them some of them you can say they are some of them might not be but listen we gonna watch this video Industry Not plants up. faking their entire come up story and secretly hiding behind a label are usually the worst at having longevity in their careers with ultra fast come ups and fall offs that occur just as quickly since their career has yeah. no foundation. My name is Rashad Fashir and this is Industry Plants. Where are they now? Let's do it then. Before we talk about each industry plant, we have to define the term. Here's how the internet defines it. Artists who sign early in their careers and have their image created mostly by the label as a sort of marketing gimmick. Or in other words, the average music fan, a fraud. First up, we got Billie Eilish, who although many don't remember, was actually one of the first artists to be quote unquote exposed as an industry plant. She even That is true though. I do plant. remember when niggas was calling her industry plant. Up, Ocean Eyes. However, what they don't usually know is the true story behind the song. Ocean Eyes was initially a song written for Billie's older brother Phineas's band. In October of 2015, she recorded the song. So neither did she write the song, nor did she have any involvement in the production. She just sang the vocals, and yeah, the vocals were good, especially for someone her age. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. But the issue was, that story I just told you has a lot of controversy surrounding it, and is the beginning of a very convoluted story behind what had actually happened. Nigga, and what? Really okay. And definitely being dishonest, because she told two completely different stories behind the song in two separate interviews. In an interview with Vogue magazine, she said this. Last year, one of my teachers asked if I would either write a song or have my brother write a song to choreograph a dance to. I was like, yes, that's such a cool thing to do. Then my brother came to me with Ocean Eyes, which he had originally written for his band. He told me he thought it would sound really good in my voice. He taught me the song and we sang it together along to his guitar and I loved it. It was stuck in my head for weeks. We kind of just decided that was the song. We Is that not the story? Dance. But with interview, okay. man, Billy had something different to say. It was weird because we didn't plan for it to do anything really. The reason we put it out when we did was that the whole song was meant to be for my dance teacher because he wanted to use it for a dance. That's why the production is dance-esque, contemporary and lyrical. And then it was done. And we were going to wait till Friday to put it out and thought, screw it, let's just put it out now. So we did. So in one interview, Vogue. But Ooh. but she mentions her brother in like a little bit other sentences though. I'm confused. I mean, I guess that the song was already made. Her brother made it and it was his production to be able to dance to. In another interview, Interview Magazine, she said that the song was made for the dance and it was produced for the dance. Very different. N nigga, so it said is she she mentioned her brother right before you stopped. She said, "Me my brother and I were like, we made it. That's it. That's our whole career." She said, "Our our it, what i mean okay Contemporary. we could continue though now. fuck it so we did so in one interview they could just skip the entire other sentence on that shit but whatever it, and it was his production to be able to dance to in another interview interview magazine she said that the song was made for the dance and it was produced for the dance okay Very different replies so it probably makes the most sense that her brother made the song and gave it to her as a cover but then after more digging fans what are we watching only two industry plants where are they today mid, and hardly had any substance horrible lyrics and they were also produced by phineas so it wasn't a very long shot that she had no part in it and it was all her brother's work but okay. wait that's not all because the youtuber progress also found something else and yo 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 every single time we watch in these videos progress always comes up bro He's a fucking federal fuck. He's a professional federal, uh, 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 a federal industry plant finder, bro. He's the detective industry plant finder. My nigga, holy shit. The Billy Eilish reacts to the teens. React to Billy Eilish. That's a bit of a tongue twister. She says, I know that when she made this song, she was like 14, right? I was 13. This clip sparked outrage from many fans like Progress who said, no, Billy, you did not make this. Bro, song. When God says, damn, this nigga's not song, playing. Listen, the only work. weird thing about it, though, is that he has a Ben Shapiro sticker like behind him. That's kind of weird. You, I don't know. Ben Shapiro, not. Re hey, listen, you could watch whatever you want, but like. 
Nichols. Whatever though. You know, produce You heard the about the Nichols dude? Did yes, I did. Just I don't really care about him though. Not make the but song. hey, your weird. A. Hey. This is a bit over. Weird niggas is everywhere, bro. It could be your fucking favorite creator. Don't look at me, nigga. I am not a weird nigga. This nigga, goddamn, made a whole fan base on TikTok. What do you know? What do you know? Now he's a. Now he's the p word. Yikes. Mm. Yikes. Kill, That's crazy. But I guess they had a point. Fucking and by now insane. you're probably wondering who is her brother. Well, her brother is Phineas, a singer songwriter who is also a huge music producer today. And as a solo act himself, he won like eight Grammys or something. He's actually been in some pretty big things like Fallout 4, Glee, Bad Teacher, and Modern Family. And Progress pointed out that Billy and Phineas's music was exactly the same. One thing you can probably do is if you listen to any Billie Eilish song or Phineas song by itself, you can probably imagine like either one of the two singing each other's songs because they sound so similar when they do their music. Which he explained meant that Billie Eilish's music was just Phineas's music. And when you look okay. at her production credits and writing credits, it kind of checked out. At least the way he argued it. That probably comes from the fact of something I haven't mentioned yet, which was that Phineas has actually co-written and produced almost every single song that she has put out since Ocean Eyes. Even okay. the most recent song that she put a music so, video So so her brother is helping her in this in this progression of becoming a a, a music artist. Where where does uh, let's where does the industry plant a uh, phase come in though? Where does the industry plant phase come in? Like, I understand her brother helped her, and I guess she, like, fucking fabricated the lie a little bit. But, like, industry plant is as in, like, a big corporation is trying to implement an artist into this motherfucker and bring them up from literally zero uh, uh, to to some big-ass shit really quickly. That's like an industry plant. I'm, I'm confused. Bury a Friend was once again co-written by her brother and produced by her brother so many fans believe that billy eilish was not even a real artist all i'm saying is it's not her own creative work she is not doing this alone however the okay okay that's that's not what an industry plan is though i i like i'm saying bro literally the title speaks for itself but i don't understand what industry plant means Hold on. I also don't get why people think her music was artificial by being an industry plan is different from just advertising a musician's music. No. Okay, no, 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 no. But her brother helping her doesn't make her an industry plan, though. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she doesn't make her music, okay? She sings it. She sings it, but... These are just allegations that Billy was being what? disingenuous. And if you remember correctly, industry plants usually also have some very fishy stuff going on behind the scenes, label wise. Okay. And Billy had See, even more fishy stuff going now on. Now we're Those talking about. Now we're talking that about it. Are also actors and musicians who have been in quite a lot of stuff. But here's what was more shocking. After just having one song, Billie Eilish was already signed to Interscope Records. Okay, though, see, boom. Now she's an industry plan. Now she might be an industry plan. Being a song that she didn't even write, she was signed to Interscope Records. How does that even happen? How did a 14-year-old girl who had almost no music under her belt manage to get a record deal? Yo, this nigga's federal as hell, though. Company like Interscope when she didn't even write or produce the song that blew her up because she didn't have anything of her own because that's the thing when she put music finally on to Spotify she was already signed to Interscope meaning she got a deal signed to her before ever even attempting to have anything go worldwide see see now we're talking now we're talking about real industry plant shit. You feel me? Okay. And after all of this information was revealed, fans like Progress believed that they had enough proof to prove that Billie Eilish was a bona fide industry plant and fraud. Did they see potential in her vocals? If so, that is just planting someone. That is just straight up taking. Some okay, and then and also, hey, if we gave yes, she thing, she might be an industry plant for show, but like not any hard work put into it. It's I mean, straight up here, we're gonna grab you and put you into this because she didn't have anything of her own. And after that, progress was worried about like, what type of control like, the music industry had who, over her. Who cares they though? The control they have over her. Mm, the music industry, man. We're all sad as hell. All these artists, we're sad as dude. Everybody I mm -hmm. know that's an artist, we are sad. Mm -hmm. Aw, just like the real world. A lot of them.
Just like in the real war too. That's so real. They understand they understand sadness just like nine to five workers. Then showed how much the music mm. industry had hurt and changed her in just one mm. year. But I think she's doing fine personally. However, no matter what you believe about Progress's point of view and the evidence he gave and whether or not Billie Eilish is an industry plant or not, to which I'll stay unbiased. After this, the label of industry plant was taped onto Billie Eilish's forehead for quite some time. And in an interview later on, she finally addressed it. The interviewer asked her how she felt. I wanted to ask this forever. Oh, oh. How do you feel about people calling you an industry plant? Okay. Oh. Okay, you know what? I just want to hear the reasons why that's said. She said what you mean? She didn't just go watch it. the progressive video. What you mean? That, that nigga had an in extensive fucking knowledge. He had extensive background information, bro. Just go watch that video. You will see what they was talking about, bro. He knows more about your life than you know about your life. Literally. In the term existing, I make I eight point eight fifty an hour. Should I up the switch impossible? on the store tomorrow? Eight fifty an hour. This nigga's making one dollar above fucking minimum wage, bro. I mean, I don't know how old you is. I hope you're not like paying bills by yourself or something. But I guess as a regular job, you cool. You know what I'm saying? Get your experience up, but to make somebody genuinely successful and it be fake. You can you can get famous and it can be fake, but you can't actually have people love you and like cherish you and have art that's really good and that she didn't get people's reasoning what's the word the phrase or whatever yeah the term phrase whatever you know it would make sense if if my mom was some like crazy famous you know model or actor. Yeah, your mama was a crazy famous model actor right actress or singer or something then it would make sense to me well a little bit <laughs> Her family came from nothing, according to her, of course. I love my mom, and my mom is insanely talented and an amazing actress and an amazing songwriter. Okay, um, now she now she going off tangent. What's she wearing? Don't ask me. Music and how to write music. She trying to cosplay as a strawberry. I I don't know. Play the piano and play the ukulele, but there there. It was all Damn. Bonus. Where is the end? Where's the plant? Yeah, where's the time? Where's the yeah. seed, bro? Who put? Where'd you put it? Like, I'd love to be an industry plant. I would love to have not worked hard for this. Shit. I would have loved that, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. to not do anything. But the thing is, even industry plants work really hard. Yeah. And to her, you can't fake anything. Also, like people think industry plants are like, you know, like record labels getting together and saying like, who's gonna be the right look for blank and like. Let's let's do this and then put this here and like make all these fake. Da, 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 that is like true that. though. That is true though, cause you still gotta go out do fucking music videos. I mean, you're not working that insanely hard still, so that really don't count. But you are still doing something to even be a uh, uh, put up there, cause you really do got to like actually do it. But it's not that insane though. Hey, bro, cilantro, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Can a, my nigga? You, you can a fit do check? That if you tried. I guess you want you me to fit do check. I don't think you can you fake what you're doing. No. You can't fake this like is... raw. Yeah. And she was doing great. And it's like I respect everybody's opinion. Go ahead and think I'm an industry plan. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> I'm doing just Not fine. crazy, bro. So where is she Got now? my incredible tank top on, on, bro. Some cool well, shit. Billie Eilish has been in a ton of controversies since then for all sorts of things. Mostly her relationships with men due to age gaps and you know. I'm not huh? shading her as a woman or anything. It's just where most of her time. 10 years, hey, Jap. But also who cares? another clothing brand's designs. And recently something Dread's about cool. Hey, love you. Well. But that stuff isn't really my lane. They say the best revenge is success. And after these industry plant allegations, Billie Eilish became a superstar. And rightfully so. I mean, let me just read some of her accomplishments straight off of her Wikipedia page. Eilish has received multiple accolades, including nine Grammy Awards, two American Music Awards, two Guinness World Records, three MTV Video Music Awards, three Brit Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and an Academy Award. Bro, She's fuck my contact, in Grammy bro. History to win all four general field categories, Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, as well as Best New Artist in the same year. She is Pause real quick, bro. My contact is making me mad right now.
Alright, I need to stop touching my eyes so much. I need to stop touching my eyes so much. It keeps moving my contact. God damn. First person born in the 21st century. We good. We fixed it, though. Award. We're chilling. My mouth is just tired of saying all of that. And she's only 22 years old. So once again, like she said, she's doing this fine. However, this next artist never quite got to those heights. The next artist on this list is Ian Dior. Ian, Ian Dior. Dior. Is artist that blew up in 2019. Who is Ian Kathleen Carner then? Who, who, who is who's the same the nigga? Wave, along with the Internet Money Producer Collective and went on to go number one with 24K Golden. And despite all that success, for most of his career, Ian Dior's name has been shrouded in contrast. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Listen, no disrespect, but I feel like I feel like we should have knew he was an industry plant just based off of the hair, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know why. I feel like niggas who got like the curly hair and then also dreads on top of that, bro, be giving me red flags, bro. They're either they're either super pretentious, super pretentious. You know what I'm saying? Number two, they try too hard to fit into shit, bro. But listen, that's probably not true for all of them. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not true for all of them, but still, though. But yeah, I, I don't know, bro. Niggas who got the curly hair and the dreads, like just random dreads, too scare me. No cap. Industry plant allegations and just for not being that original. Not well, that deep. He's he just basically went to fix Juice his World context. 2. That's 2. what I'm saying. You know, actually, love no, no, no. He's not Juice World 2.0. Nah, he's Juice World negative 1.0 because he's Ooh. just not original in any way. And it all began when fans started to find some very odd things in his statistics. Ian Dior had a ton of songs spam uploaded to all sorts of rap promotion pages, which cost God, a pretty penny. What? While God on damn. his personal channel, the songs were getting next to nothing in terms of views. Also, it just started looking more and more weird that his music is apparently blowing up. Yo, everywhere. yo, yo, yo. Are you just basically using Progressive's fucking videos and then turning it into a documentary? Hold on. He's a registered sex. Oh, well. Well, even if he's not a, a, a industry plant, he deserves to be in jail. But his own YouTube channel. Like, how the fuck is that possible? The songs were getting streamed like crazy out of nowhere. And not only that, Ian Dior had an A-list feature and A-list producer on one of his songs. What? And then I realized it was featuring P&B Rock and it was produced by Nick Mira. Finally, there was a red flag of hell. It was Ian showing appreciation to his fans, which I guess is kind of wholesome, except it was for fake plays on his music. Molly, 100K in four days. Emotions, 200K in 12 days. Cutthroat, 161K. See, like, bro, come on, bro. The names of the songs are just stupid as hell, my nigga. The names of the songs are just cringy as hell. This nigga talking about emotions, bro. Yes, thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Inside Out 2 is coming out soon, bro. Like, we get it, bro. This nigga giving us these little cute words and shit for his titles. I feel like that should have been a, a instant, a instant, like, mm. even without the views, bro, the names of the songs just don't even sound real. They don't even sound real, my nigga. Be for real. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. Hmm. Cutthroat. All right. For sure. For sure, bro. Be for real, my nigga. I used to listen to him in quarantine. Hey, bro, hopefully Steve you days. enjoyed his it music. It hasn't even been a month. He allegedly R-worded. Thank mm -hmm. all hey, you guys. Bro. Couldn't do it without me. Hey, Fans bro, like keep Progress that nigga inside of the jail, the bro, lives. under the jail. This wasn't just one red flag. It was like 10. So many fans got to thinking. It was clear Ian Dior's career had been paid to up to that point. It's just at the time, no one knew who was paid by. So after a decent amount of success for SoundCloud rapper, Ian Dior began getting labeled the I word industry. The I word. And videos began to surface. It's now a slur though. Things being by the man himself, Progress. And what he found was. Yo, you dick right in progress. You dick right in pro. Yo, them cicadas is loud as hell. Can y'all shut the fuck up? Damn. But no, uh, uh, um, he dick right in progress. No cap. Holy shit, bro. Is all your information from progress? I understand he going in depth on these niggas. Are you just like turning his video into something else? You basically just telling us what progress found, bro. My nigga. Yo, these cicadas, bro. These cicadas playing, bro. It Thank turned you. out Shut that the Ian fuck Dior up. was signed to internet money. And they were promoting him like crazy. 
is echoed by the fact that Nick Mira, who is actually a producer for Internet Money Records, was constantly promoting Ian oh on his my God. socials. Oh, my God. Even Taz Taylor, hey, the Sir CEO Cigarettes. Of Internet I'll Money appreciate Records, the raid, bro. Welcome to Twitter. the stream, Plus, all man. of the official Trill Internet for real, Money real, Records real, YouTube channel to the and Twitter and you everything still have like cicadas? that also. I guess so. They loud as hell. They won't be quiet. They see I'm streaming. Like, what the fuck? Shush. Damn. But no, I appreciate the raid, though. Real shit, bro. Welcome to the stream, y'all. Motherfucking Sir Cigarettes, I appreciate the follow. Ghoul Scully, I appreciate the follow, y'all. Mop the DV, welcome to the stream. I appreciate the follow, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We just chilling in this motherfucker, for real, for real. No, they getting louder, too. They getting louder, too, bro. Collective had worked on him like a lab rat and helped him blow up. Oh, my okay, God. So that just explains... How Ian Dior this fit is just a red flag but also. Who even was Ian Dior? Did he just come out of nowhere? Well, Progress found that out too. It started with them finding that Ian Dior's old music was registered underneath a different Elias, Olmo. He started finding Olmo. links and realized that Ian Dior used to go by the name Olmo. It was definitely him. But am I able to show you that the record deal that he signed with Dude, this Money nigga is so federal. change his name or his aesthetic at all? Yes. Yes, I am. Firstly, if you look at how he used to dress when he was Olmo, it yeah, was- Yeah, he didn't have drip, bro. He was gonna turn into a light-skinned ass nigga who wouldn't make it make it anywhere. He, he, was, he would have been a light-skinned ass nigga who wouldn't make it anywhere, bro. His fit was trash, bro. His whole aesthetic just makes me mad. Very much more clean. Oh, he got that insane high top also. Above his eyes and had a clear pattern to it. And he actually used to dress like a regular person. But somewhere along the timeline, Taz Taylor found him on the internet and realized he could turn him into an emo rapper. And more importantly, a star. No. Oh. Well, I found my new artist. Two days later, Cutthroat by Ian Dior was released and produced by the famed Juice World producer, Nick Mira. Oh and my that's when God. The and promotion began i also just wanted to say that i'm a little bit skeptical of the i think cicadas just spawned in bro channel, they just uh, uh released an update right while i'm actually live, taken bro. from just that's after what he it released is his music video for his song emotions and on the first day he went up 4,000 subscribers from 29,000 views but then the next day he went up 6,000 subscribers from 326,000 views then the next day he got less subscribers at 4,000 subscribers but went up 472,000 views then he got even less subscribers the next day at 3,000 900 but he oh still my went up 346,000 views. Then the next day he got even less subscribers at 3,000 subscribers, but he went up even more views at 400,000 views that day. Something I also didn't mention was that internet money had paid for famous YouTubers. Hey guys, hit me up. Just kidding, I'm not famous. To promote Ian Dior's music. This included Base Clan, Clout Gang. Nigga, that's Mo. crazy, bro. Hell no. Thing, by the way. I have to give them Boy, I would have been, I, hey, I would have been listening to Ian Connor all day, bro. Even when I'm reacting, my nigga, oh my god, y'all don't want to shut up. Y'all don't want to shut up. Y'all don't want to shut up. God damn, niggas loud as hell. But no, if they if they told me, uh, uh play some Ian Connor, we'll sponsor you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, cutthroat. Yeah, yeah, Molly. I don't even know how them songs go. I've never listened to an Ian. Ian Dior a uh, uh, fucking song ever in my life. Time, ever. I had no idea Ian Dior was a paid promo. I thought they were actually friends. I guess that was just a bit naive of me. And so only two months into his career, his new career, I should add, Ian Dior signed to 10K Projects. But the backlash that Progress's video caused changed Ian Dior's career forever. He became one of the poster boys for the term industry plant. And it's severely harmed his image. Damn, bro, this nigga just love causing fucking violence to hella niggas. Listen, just let them be industry plants, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, Orange Peanut Zero, what's up, my boy? Welcome to the stream. Ian and I appreciate his team would try to respond to the industry plant allegations multiple times. In the beginning, his label owner, Taz Taylor, tried to fight back against the term. In an interview, Taz was asked, Now that you don't work with Ian Dior anymore, are you willing to accept that to some extent that you were industry planting that Every situation? Every artist is an industry plant, though. Every artist in the music industry is an industry plant. He explained every That is the worst way to start with anything, boy. That is the worst way to fucking start a fucking claim like that. No. If my artist was an industry plan, everyone was. No, that's not how it works, my nigga. Not how it works. Everyone got help and made some pretty horrible arguments. Industry planting is whenever an art, a label signs an artist mm -hmm. and acts like they're unsigned. 
Right. And they're not affiliated with them. They don't do anything. If I'm the f***ing label owner and I'm promoting these artists, how is that an industry plan? Has this nigga, is this nigga off, stupid? They be trying too hard to be dumb as hell, bro. No cap. My goat Lucky was not an industry plant, bro. It took him 13 years to really start hitting shit, bro. Come on. Don't yeah, be saying really shit happening. like that. Before on I May have to do 1st, something 2019, he said in that GTA. industry plants are people who get the perks of being signed while claiming that they didn't. Then on July 26th of 2019, Taz tweeted industry plants don't exist at all and everyone is just hating. And it just got to be too much. Ian's comment sections were filled with people calling him an industry plant and he just couldn't escape the label. So after basically being forced to take accountability, Ian and Taz Taylor decided to just own it and wow. named Ian Dior's debut studio album, Industry Plan. To them, it was a genius move. Taz wrote, Ian's album title is the best of this year. If people want to focus on BS instead of the music. You just like, bro, I'm sorry. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. You know something... You know, uh, 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 something's made uh, uh, specifically by like a a non-melanated, non-colored person or just a corny person in general, just by looking at it though. Like, like you know that's just cringy and corny as fuck, but they decided to do some shit like that. Okay, listen, you're being called Industry Plant. Why don't we call your fucking album Industry Plant? Is that not genius, bro? Stop, bro. Stop. Like, is there a real human in that room that's going to tell you, bro? Like, nigga, that is stupid as fuck. Is there a real human in that room that's not a fucking robot, that's not a fucking industry plant listening to you say some shit like that? Bro, I just feel like, you know, you know, in movies where, like, they say the name of the fucking, um, uh, of the actual movie, bro. I just feel like they was inside the studio. Like, man, bro. We got to make this album, bro. We have to, bro. I don't know what the title is going to be, though, bro. And listen, we got to do this shit because niggas is going to be calling me an industry plant. Wait. Say that again. Say that again. Um, Industry plant. <laughs> we got our title. Like, my nigga. What the fuck? That is so ass, my nigga. That's so ass, uh. I'm sorry, Music. So bro. Be please be serious. Music, so you can't say it anymore, and you're forced to just take the music for what it is. Also, when Shit, you do just the doodle. industry plan going forward, you won't get BS clickbait videos of people who have no clue what they're talking about. You'll get the album. Genius. Progress explained that that's not really how it worked. Hey, that's let's just go so Google dumb, right now. Bro. Google Ian Dior industry plan. Let's just see what pops up. Just you know, just for fun. Let's just see what pops up. Oh. Huh. Oh, damn, bro. My video is the first. Damn, bro. This result. nigga's Wait. dead ass flexing on his shit. And in an interview, he's Ian dead ass flexing. Response. Ian is saying that he wants to literally remove the line between being a real artist who takes things from the heart and being a manufactured piece of garbage. But that obviously wasn't how Ian Dior felt. Hell it was no. probably what others around him were telling him to say. And as a young musician, he probably just listened. However, in an interview later on, he did reveal his true Why the emotions. fuck does my activate windows keep coming back? Nigga, I have windows. I have windows. Why does that watermark keep coming there? I got windows story. when I built the Isn't PC. It to you to think what? that like, people thought you were an industry plant? And Ian explained. It did. It like really made it made me feel like people were like stripping me away from all the hard work that I did. Aww. Because I worked my ass off to just get to LA. He really had to struggle. Mm. He had to he had to, he had to go to the airport. He had to pack his stuff. He had to pack his stuff. He worked really hard. No. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Dead ass. I I, I fuck, bro. Fuck. No Wonder where Ian stuff. Dior is at now. No cap, bro. They still haven't said shit, bro. We still going through this whole... We understand he's an industry plant. Where is he now, bro? Is he fucking working at a McDonald's? Is he homeless? Like, what's going on, bro? Did he make a trucking company? Like... I was not in a good situation, so, like... Bro. Going out there sending my standing in the front of the mic saying bullshit is not hard to work? No cap. The term. I didn't know what that meant, so I was like, whatever. And then I uh, started like to hear about it, and you know, hear like this nigga didn't know what industry stuff. plant meant, bro. That's how you know he's a fucking industry uh, plant. So where is he now? 
Well, for a short while, Ian Dior had a great run. He dropped albums his fans loved. He went number listen, one. Listen, listen, the smartest idea once you really hit, bro, instantly start investing just in case niggas find out your industry plan, bro. And be like, fuck it, I'm a cryptocurrency ass nigga now. I'm a cryptocurrency ass nigga now. He was doing shows everywhere, <laughs> but afterwards, reality set in. Ian Dior began dropping some heavy mid. He dropped a song with Lil Uzi Vert that didn't do well. His albums failed to sell. And when bringing up the topic of emo rap, Ian Dior is not in the discussion. Unless Damn. you're talking about... Bad I've bad. never... I, words, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Also, Bass... Uh, uh, M... M... Mint. Basil. Basil Mint. Basil Mint. That's how you say it, bro. Who be making these names, bro? God damn, bro. I'm struggling. Y'all making me look stupid. Basil Mint, I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the stream. But no, bro. No, listen. Um... I've never heard of D e Eon Dior until this video. No cap. No cap. If, is that insane, though? But a rapid rise 6 9 is an industry plant. This doesn't happen to everyone. And this next artist is the best example of that. I, fact, I, I really wish she was. So he was. And prominent that many don't even know that she was an industry plant. In the past years, we've seen many more female rappers blow up and rap than yeah. before. Normally, female Okay, artists, listen, 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 listen. You got to give me some good evidence of Ice Spice being an industry plant. Listen, good quality music does not just mean like being popular for not having better quality music than some people who are under you does not mean you're a fucking industry plant. OK, listen, Flo Millie, goddamn rapping her ass off. BK, the ruler, rapping her ass off, bro. Ice Spice, you know what I'm saying? She be making some drill songs and shit. You feel me? Their Ice Spice is more popular than some of them, definitely. But, like, I need to hear some real evidence, bro. C progressive better be on here. Pro progressive Ice better be Ice on Spice here. Ice went from being a nobody to a global sensation and worldwide meme almost overnight. So, where did she come oh, from? Uh. Ice Spice came from the New York drill movement, known for its violence and rough areas that it originated from. Ice Spice is from the Bronx. And okay. she went to a private Catholic school called Sacred Heart. Her nickname was Ice from her... <laughs> listen 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 the bronx definitely like you know what i'm saying niggas get out there they get grimy in there bro she went to a nice private catholic school she went to a nice private catholic school oh <laughs> her name isis and i spice was hell no nah, bro in college she began to rap and caught the attention of a producer named riot who got her to start stop the playing with him riot talks and posting thirst traps and slowly started gaining some traction i spice's music was different because it was classic female rap but in the new york drill style something that most people weren't used to as new york drill is usually extremely violent lyrics and in a very aggressive tone I nah, was Kyle rich style. doesn't do that though this would garner her a lot of hate. I'm blasting this on mute all day. Now you on dig. Real promotion for her music. But by mid-2022, Ice Spice was getting recognized by blogs and others in the industry. And then, all of a sudden, on August of 2022, Ice Spice dropped Munched. Most people just You thought I was feeling you? And it was only that nigga munch. needed to rhyme it with the next lines. He ate it with lunch. The song was about women who take advantage of simps, and it blew up. Becoming one of the most memorable. Why is that bad? And the Niggas is simping for real, for real. However, hey, Poppy Chulo, six five six. Hi. Started realizing something. That Hi, Munch welcome to the stream. When Munch first started taking off, I appreciate you for tuning DM in. Of Ice Spice and Drake. That Munch and you're on the radar. Hell no, nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, 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 listen. Y'all need to stop believing this nigga Drake when he's saying like, "Wow, you are blowing up." No, he he just he just want ass. He just wants ass. Listen, he's a very popular artist, but do not believe this nigga talking about some, oh my God, you are amazing. You're talented. No, I just want ass. That's it. That's all he cares about. He was praising her on the radar freestyle, saying he would play her song on his radio show. This was five days before Munch was released. What's wrong with that? Shouldn't we all be happy for her? Well, I never said you can't. However, this was a red flag. Because okay. how did Drake know about her? How did the screenshot get leaked? And these weren't light questions either. Two days later, I bro, those beat right headphones that niggas be having at the studio is fire, bro. Thought Drake flew her out too, you know. It turned out this was all marketing to promote her next single, Munch, and it worked really well. You thought I was feeling you? What's interesting that is that nigga Munch, exactly what nigga eating, he eating for lunch. Bitch, my buddy, I'ma get what I want. Like, was that no one realized that she was an industry plant until it was too late? 
And by the time they did, nigga, no why point. y'all acting like it's devastation when a nigga gets popular for being an industry? They didn't figure out she was an industry plan. Two was too fucking late. Now she's too popular. Calm the fuck down, bro. This does not hurt you in any shape or form, bro. You do not have to pay taxes because of her. You don't have to pay more taxes because of her. Don't fucking worry, bro. You can live life normally. You can live life normally even if she's an industry plan. Don't worry. She was no longer an industry plant. She was a bona fide star. Yeah. That the munch. Nick eat it, he eat it for lunch. This nigga's like 40 years old. <laughs> and this nigga's ugly. You, you, Shit. You said that a little too spicy. <laughs> I like that song. I, I know. I, and I like her. What's equally interesting is that her song Munch never charted on the Billboard 100 and didn't Damn. have as many Spotify streams as people thought. Damn. Spice then dropped Bikini Bottom and In Her Mood. The fans liked her repetitive songs and they all became hits. She was also easier to market because she's more attractive than many of her more talented female drill counterparts. Tight and shit. People just loved what her. What you mean female her drill role. counterparts, bro? Hold on, bro. Okay. Drill woman rappers. Why are they finna give me... Flo Millie is not a drill rapper, bro. Don't fucking play with me. Lola Brooks, okay, I'll give that one, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm talking about New York drill rap, okay. New York drill, New York uh, 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 drill woman rappers, hold on, bro. Okay, we got Kenzo B. What, what, who is Kenzo B? Hmm, okay. Um, Scarlet, Scarlet is actually good at rapping, though, bro. It's no cap, nobody can play with her, for real, for real. Nicki Minaj, I... S, you know what I'm saying? Dream Doll. Who's Dream Doll? I feel like I've heard of her before. Okay. I mean, mm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Loud and got a this guy high key just an Ice Spice hater. So, where is Ice Nah, he's just pointing out different. Um, top of the rap game. He, she's Maybe just pointing out different uh, industry plans. For sure. And popularity. Welcome she to the stream, though, King Summers. The process of becoming Appreciate you for tuning I mean, in. She was just at the Super Bowl with Taylor Swift. Although we're EP in 20. No, bro. It was so fucking funny, though. It was so funny because I seen it on, I don't know where it was, bro. It was on like Twitter or something, bro. These niggas was like, when Ice Spice started talking about God, Taylor Swift was shaking her head, right? And I... <laughs> no, it was on TikTok. It was on TikTok. That shit was so funny because he dead ass started shaking her head, bro. It was just like, she was like, no, no, don't talk about him. We don't fuck with that nigga. We don't fuck with that. It was so funny, bro. It's just like, bro, niggas who like be uh turning everything into like, oh, yup, I'm not signing the Illuminati. No, I'm not signing up for the Illuminati. Like, bro. Listen, listen. Listen, good for you. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You feel me? Y'all be doing a little too much, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. He sold his fucking soul and his ass. He, niggas always love... Niggas always love pointing to niggas being gay and instantly being like, hold on, bro. He sold his soul, bro. Somebody probably... <laughs> No, I got a better example. I have a better example. Listen, I remember, I remember it was like on Instagram, right? It was Roddy Rich. It was Roddy Rich, right? And basically, uh, uh, it was like a video about like how, uh, the fall off of Roddy Rich. And, and the nigga said like, I think the reason he fell off is because he went to one of those celebrity parties and somebody told him to put something in his butt and he declined and he got <laughs> He got blackballed from the music industry because he didn't want to put something in his butt. <laughs> These niggas, yo, that is so funny. That is so funny. These niggas be goddamn looking up into the lines too much. Calm the fuck down, bro. Calm the fuck down, bro. Holy shit. That shit was so funny. Oh my God, bro. These niggas be comedians. 20K. Since then, oh, the song she's is Lona Industry Plant? Absolutely not. For her new single, no. Mm. She literally says, he been making music. 
And he's been playing fucking Overwatch, bro. He's been grinding it's meant to be from a young age. And moments like these, where she faces tons of backlash, only adds they getting sturdy. Just like the industry plant rumors. And hey, if you watched all the way up to here, I have a prize for you. What happened to the YouTubers who exposed these industry plants? Let's go full circle. <gasps> Let's Brandon look. Stop making videos altogether and hasn't been seen since. Patrick CC later made a video explaining he himself had many misconceptions apologizing for the wave he started overall it's pretty interesting to see most of yikes yikes progress got eliminated off the map the Ed illuminati got him illuminati got him the federal bureau of education got no wait federal bureau of what the fuck is the fbi called right whatever the fbi got him nigga Super artists fall off and the ones that did remain became superstars if that tells you anything it's that labels are just investment firms for artists why are y'all showing kid Leroy system? ill they just need we one. get it he's so an industry plan don't an industry put him on my screen really the move but it's your life so both me the other youtubers and these industry he trying to include himself <laughs> when Billie Eilish is he trying to include himself my dog you was just taking you was just taking progress and shit you were just taking most of Progress's fucking data and using it on a video, bro. Chillax, bro. He trying to include himself. Plant allegations <laughs> came out. There was one man who gave a very Oh my god, this ugly my ass opinion, nigga. And that was Anthony Fantano. Fuck who, Anthony no Fantano, nigga. No matter what your thoughts nigga. are, give a very solid reasoning to whether or not Billie Eilish was an industry No player. one gives uh, a is fuck. Is the California singer, pop artist, an industry plant? The closer that we get to the release of Billie Eilish's new record, the larger the conversation about whether or not she's a label-controlled puppet, is she someone who has a faked origin story, is she inauthentic, the larger I see this conversation get. He started off by saying progress wasn't wrong, but it wasn't actually- Like, I can't trust a nigga who wears a polo hoodie like this. Why? Ew, no, bro. Like, I just can't respect this nigga in any sort of fashion, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. It was the industry Fuck standard no. to do what Billy Eilish's label had done. But once again, he did admit that a fake persona will help boost your career. However, the most popular or powerful part of the spiel was where he sunned the rest of these YouTubers, in my opinion, because he simply explained that their expectations of these artists weren't in tune with reality. And that making it is only the beginning. So to put it all together, the this nigga talking. What? What? What the fuck you talking about? The expectation is not always gonna be reality, my nigga. Is this nigga talking? Him? This the half ball head ass nigga on the screen? Come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Industry plan Get the fuck out of here, bro. Only a naive youngster would fall for, such as Progress, who was a naive fan. And he ended it off by saying, at the end of the day, the music is all that really matters. So I know all of you guys don't want to hear nigga. this, but some of you definitely like do only know Fantana, I only Anthony Fantano was saying something like that, bro. C come on, bro. Think well, here it is, bro. Bro, the Illuminati paid him. The Illuminati paid him. That's what it is, bro. In the day, radio and TV made it Get tougher for here. people to get their <laughs> name out there. The only way to be marketed was to be part of the industry. However, with the industry, it's different. Rappers like XXXTentacion, Lil Peep, and more paid their dues, hustled, spent years and years trying to achieve success before they had it, and eventually earned a very loyal fan base. And that's because they earned Type it. Shit. They can't just fall off. Or Are you a D1 fall. crush Even out with Aura who hates bots? In my nigga, times, don't their fans ever make a sentence so much like time that ever again. To their music. It didn't matter. They could still sell out shows and do amazing. With an industry plant, they just don't have the same long I just don't so like that nigga's that hair said, either. Hopefully it makes sense. Lil the Wayne! Towards the kid that spent thousands of hours in his room learning to make music himself and the artist whose parents paid for a record deal. Hey, bro, perfect nigga to put on screen. You call those Even though I don't want to look at him, way? but still. Sure. Can you blame them? No. No. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. You know what I'm saying? You got to blame the FBI. The, you got to blame the uh, Illuminati. Shout out the... The old, oh, I was finna say shout out to Illuminati. Hell no, nah, bro. I'm no, no. I don't want nothing up my butt, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Y'all can keep that Illuminati shit away from me. You know what I'm saying? Chill. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. <laughs>